Hello everyone, welcome back to the land. We are here today looking at our power. You can see over on the, the pole, they finally got our transformer in and uh, put all that down. I have the piece de resistance to, to hook it up and make sure it works. We did test the, the line with the test reset on the 120 volt here. So now hopefully when I plug this in and stick my uh, my piece on here, it'll all work and I won't have to worry about it. It looks like it's supposed to. Now let's check to see. I have to hook this in. And you should have some power now. And hopefully it should be good. Maddie, you should try something in there now. Yeah? Yeah. Just the lights, whatever, just make sure it works. You might have to flip the breakers too. Oh boy. Well, hopefully it works, we'll find out. Yeah, so the whole whole system finally got set in. The grounding wires are all in place. Nice square D panel that we ended up getting. And uh, we're thinking about mounting a box on the underside of this to match everything up here. And uh, hopefully get an RV plug put in some point today. But uh, you can kind of see where they align right here for, uh, for the grounding rods. It's kind of hidden in the snow now. And you can see the all the dirt that they trailed out to bury the line in for the pole. Anyway, got her all good. It's all hooked up. I don't know if we're supposed to have this. Yeah, I think we are. I don't know if it's a lock or what, but very cool. I got our our fancy meter here. It says it says what we're doing and how much we're using and according to this it might be doing something I don't know resetting or, or what here couldn't tell you all right well we'll let you know once we get the power back on we'll see you in a few okay let's see. well we're back we have some uh, issues with our GFCI outlet you think when you uh, you hire an electrician that they would get it done right the first time, but uh, apparently not all electricians are up to par. So uh, thankfully I know a little bit about wiring, and uh, I'm going to try and see if I can make this work. No promises. The outlet would start, and then all of a sudden it would trip the GFCI, and I'm very curious as to why because all the contacts look pretty good and uh, when I opened it up here I find that uh, there's a bunch of water in the bottom of the box. I don't know if you can get a shot of that Matty. You can see a little bit of the frost and there was a bunch all up on here and uh, I think the frost is what's causing that to trip right away. So we're seeing what we can do here and uh, hopefully we can get it working. No promises. Oh. I hope so, it's cold. <clears throat> okay, this. Sits on it. Oh boy, this will be tricky. Alright, well, we'll see you back in a few if I can get this hooked up. Well, so heading home because, uh, honestly, 
think that it was a problem with our tiny house, the way we wired it up. The, the GFCI outlet that the electrician installed out there, which is the proper thing to install out there, works with all the other three prong um, electronics that we tried, but does not work when we take our tiny house plug, which is that uh, 30 amp uh, specialized plug, we try and plug it in there with an adapter and all of a sudden it just trips the breaker. So I think, excuse me, not the breaker, it trips the GFCI on it. What I think the issue is, is that it's going through such a big cable that there's enough line loss that the GFCI decides to trip even though nothing's actually wrong. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wire it up and uh, hopefully get things working uh, in the next couple days here. But for now, that's all we got. So uh, we'll see you in a few. Thanks for watching.